uh, greetings to everyone from uh, Southern Africa. Um, I am a community development facilitator. Um, yeah, working um, in several African countries with the communities, but using schools as an entry point. Um, and um, when I look at uh, the relevance of education, I would like to uh, look at the aspect of why it is uh, important to make education relevant. And also um, when we talk of educational relevance, to whom should do education be relevant? And then we can then look at um, how um, we can uh, make education relevant. Um, I consider education to be um, one of the most important investments in life. Um, and um, it is um, very important because um, it not only ensures continuity and uh, intergenerational transition um, at the societal level, but it can also be um, a very important tool for social change. Um, so it should be made relevant so that it can contribute towards the achievement of um, our societal uh, goals. Um, and um, to whom should uh, education be relevant? Definitely education should be made relevant to the learner. Um, we, we know in conventional education, people talk about um, relevance to the job market, uh, which I think is a complete uh, misfire uh, because um, education should really be focused on the, on the learner uh, because learners should be empowered to be able to create value in life. Um, they should uh, be able to do so not only as individuals, but also in partnership with other people. So um, that should be uh, the, the focus of um, education. So it is, um, I think in my view, more important to uh, create um, social entrepreneurs rather than um, uh, creating job seekers as the current focus uh, seems to be. Um, learners are at the center of any education system. And so the education system must be designed um, with the learner at the center and with the learner in mind. And um, education must be relevant to learners um, above everything else. Now, how can we achieve this? Um, educational relevance. Um, it means that um, we need to see the whole education system as being a um, learner centered. Um, it means that um, the education should meet the wholesome needs of, of the learners, all the needs of the learners. And um, it should contribute um, towards the development of the whole person, uh, the whole uh, learner uh, that, that we are focusing on. And it should prepare learners to uh, not only identify their potential, but also to develop um, uh, this uh, potential. And um, this um, uh, potential should be looked at in terms of um, the full uh, range of capacities that each learner is endowed, endowed with. And um, we should make sure that um, um, education helps to nurture uh, these capacities. And um, we, um, I know um, with my uh, background on working with nature that um, one of the fundamental laws um, in nature is that uh, uh, nature takes away whatever is not used. So if we do not uh, develop 
all the capacities that the learners have, then those capacities become um, useless. They cannot be used. Um, just for to give an example is that um, um, if our muscles are not utilized, um, they become, uh, they lose their elasticity and they become useless. So when we look at education, we should look at every aspect, including every muscle in the body must um, be utilized. Otherwise, uh, it becomes um, irrelevant and useless to um, the, the learner. So we should do tailor our education to meet the diverse needs um, of individual learners. And um, also, um, we also need to look at the needs of learners as a collective, because um, uh, human beings are social beings. So it is the collectivism in, in Africa, we talk of Ubuntu, um, I am because we are. So we need to look at the collective needs um, of, of the learners as well, apart from the um, individual needs. And we should help learners to um, celebrate their inherent uh, capacities. And um, we should look at um, the, the following characteristics in terms of um, 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 uh, relevant education or learner-centered education. Um, number one, it, it must be wholesome. Um, I think I've um, um, explained this point already. Uh, number two, education must be fun. Um, the, the learners must enjoy being educated. And um, number three, education must be practical. Um, we already talked about um, learners having um, all sorts of muscles that need to be uh, utilized. And um, education must be experiential. Uh, we should do, make sure that uh, learners use all their senses um, that they are endowed with, not just to um, warm their bosoms, just listening uh, to the so-called teachers. Um, the education must be learner-driven. Uh, so uh, learners should do, be able to make choices um, during the delivery of education. So in conclusion, um, I would like to say that um, a relevant education is the one that nurtures the personal development of the learner. It recognizes um, uh, the individual differences that are in learners and um, allows learners to dream, allows learners to work towards the future that they all want. Thank you very much.